So like we say, for example, the example we use a lot is the pound is falling. Okay. Um, that is a phrase that is misleading because it makes it sound like the pound acts on its own and just rises and falls the same way that like the waves of the sea move, you know? Yeah. Um, actually, it would make more sense to say something like, um, because of the current like situation in the UK, in this case, if we're talking about the pound, um, people are nervous that, you know, businesses aren't going to work as, as well as they do usually or like politics is unstable or something, which means that they've decided to sell their currency um, and invest in something a little bit safer. That's why the pound falls. It doesn't just fall, you know. Yeah. Um, and that's what it kind of leads to. It just creates a bit of a situation of like, panic and a sense of lack of control if you think yeah. like oh my god it's just falling or it's rising or whatever and we don't know what to do about it um, especially if you like earn in pounds and spend in pounds but don't have any sense of agency over what happens to that pound yeah. when actually it's all of us every day using it and earning it and like deciding to spend it in a local shop or on an easy jet flight or whatever or lend it to a friend of ours mm. that's what makes it worth how much it is like that's the whole purpose of this currency so it's like so directly tied to our day-to-day -to -day.